Now that we've been introduced to substitution and elimination reactions, let's examine each of these different kinds of reactions in more detail. We'll begin with a type of substitution reaction known as an SN2 reaction. The S stands for substitution, the N for nucleophile, and the 2 indicates that the slow rate determining step in this mechanism is bimolecular. In other words, there are two reactants involved in the rate determining step. SN2 reactions have mechanisms that take place in only one step. A typical example of an SN2 reaction would be methyl bromide reacting with a hydroxide ion. In this reaction, one of the lone pairs of electrons from the oxygen will be donated to the carbon of the methyl bromide. At the same time, the sigma electrons in the carbon bromide bond will be donated to the bromine leaving group. The products formed in this reaction are methanol and the bromide ion. The nucleophile in SN2 reactions approaches from the side of the carbon opposite the leaving group. If this carbon is a chiral carbon, the SN2 mechanism flips the configuration of the carbon. As the carbon gets more crowded, this leads to what's known as steric hindrance because it's so crowded it's more difficult for the nucleophile to approach the carbon and that slows the SN2 reaction down. Other things that affect the rate of SN2 reactions are the type of carbon bonded to the halogen. Methyl halides will have much faster SN2 reactions than primary alkyl halides, which in turn will be faster than secondary alkyl halides, which in turn will be faster than tertiary alkyl halides. In fact, tertiary alkyl halides are so slow that they essentially will not undergo SN2 reactions. As we've already explained, the iodide is a better leaving group than the other halogens, so the rate of SN2 reactions will be that alkyl iodides will react much faster in SN2 reactions than alkyl bromides, which are faster than alkyl chlorides, which will react more quickly than alkyl fluorides. The final thing that affects the rate of an SN2 reaction is the strength of the nucleophile. Essentially, the stronger the base is, the better the nucleophile it will be, and the faster the SN2 reaction will take place. In general, nucleophiles that have a negative charge will be stronger nucleophiles than those that are neutral. This table compares related nucleophiles. In each case, we see that the stronger nucleophile is the one with the negative charge, so that hydroxide ion is a better nucleophile in water, the methoxide ion is a better nucleophile than methanol, and the amide ion, NH2-, is a better nucleophile than ammonia, NH3. Another type of substitution reaction is known as the SN1 reaction. The 1 in this case designates that the slow rate determining step is a unimolecular reaction or involves only one molecule. That one molecule is the alkyl halide. A key difference between SN2 and SN1 reactions is that the SN1 mechanism involves two different steps. The first step of the SN1 mechanism involves the formation of a carbocation. Let's look at an example of a mechanism for an SN1 reaction. In the first step, we have a tertiary alkyl halide with a bromine as a living group. In the first step, the sigma electrons in the carbon-bromine bond are donated to the bromine, and we get as a product a tertiary carbocation 
and the bromide ion. In the second step of the mechanism, a nucleophile, in this case water, will donate two electrons from the oxygen to the carbocation. We then get an, an intermediate that has a positive charge on the oxygen. One of the hydrogens on the oxygen will donate its sigma electrons to the oxygen, and we get as a final product an alcohol and a hydrogen ion. In SN1 reactions, the nucleophile can approach the carbocation from either side, so that even if we begin with a chiral alkyl bromide or alkyl halide, we'll get a mixture of products. In terms of rates for SN1 reactions, we see that since carbocations are evolved in the first step, tertiary alkyl halides will have much faster SN1 reactions than secondary alkyl halides, which will in turn be faster than primary alkyl halides. In fact, primary alkyl halides will be so slow that they essentially do not undergo SN1 reactions. As with other SN1 or SN2 reactions, alkyl iodides will have faster reactions than alkyl bromides, which will be faster than alkyl chlorides, and those are in turn faster than alkyl fluorides. In SN1 reactions, the concentration of the nucleophile does not change the reaction rate for SN1 reactions because the nucleophile is not involved in the slow rate determining step. In addition, since the nucleophile is not in the slow rate determining step, the strength of the nucleophile also does not play a role in the rate of SN1 reactions.